Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. How's everyone doing? Hopefully good, because I think we are going to finish this mod today. Uh, we're just going to blow up one of these generators. I forgot which one. I think it's generator number two. Uh, everything in the lab and surroundings. Generator number two powers the rest of the rooms. By switching off one of the generators, half of the level... Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, let me let me actually check my pip boy. Uh, weak breath base. Help the prisoners escape quietly by deactivating generator number two. And just to confirm, that's the one on the right, right? Uh, number one to your left. Okay. So, let's blow this baby up. Set it to 10 seconds and drop it and go. Remember, this is not a very good idea because if you, uh, you know, if you're very low... There we go. By sabotaging the generator, you help the prisoners from the fourth floor escape silently. And we've gone up a level. Um, yeah, if you're... Um, if you're... Where is it? It's traps. No, it's not traps, is it? No, it is. If your trap skill is very low, then that, um, you know, uh, that thing can go off pretty quickly. Let's go for more speech, why not? Should have, I should have, you know, used that before. Uh, but I'm pretty sure if you destroy this, damaged. Um, they attack you anyway. Um, so anyway, yeah, if you have a low trap skill, the explosives can go off before you actually set... I mean, you know, if you set them for 30 seconds, they might go off in 5 seconds. So if you set them to 10 seconds, and you fumble on the, uh, on the skill check, it will, uh, you know, it will blow up in your face. That's... I always do it, I always do it on 10 seconds because I don't have the patience to wait. <laughs> but yeah, it's not... it's generally not a very wise idea to uh, do it that way so if you oh geez if you want to play it safe you know just don't do it let's just go check the level four oh what you deserve to live like normal people who is that a guard with a super sledge where did he come from and how whoa 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 that's not good okay they're gone, I suppose. Yeah, those, uh... There we go, those force fields are off. Ooh, this might not be very good. Um, I'm gonna go for this guy first. Now, the super sledge guy could do some damage as well. But you know what? Okay, let's hope that guy doesn't get up. Yes, he will. Brilliant. And he's picked up something else now. Oh, brilliant. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Okay, now this guy will probably hit us once now. Yep. Ow. How much was that? Six hit points. Not that nice. He's still not dead. Jeez. No, 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 no! I bloody hate that. No, you do not. Vade retro. Alright, there we go. Okie dokie. So yeah, they are gone, I suppose. Let me let me go to the corner here so I can actually check. Yeah, they're gone. There we go. There's some dead ones still, but uh, there's nothing we can do about that. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, wait a second, what am I doing? I have to blow up the base. Back through the force fields we go. It'll probably throw us to the... F yeah. Ouch! That hurts now. That hurts a lot. Out, outy, outy. People, I think I think people are saying that uh, this game has. Oh, I was hit for no damage. There you go. That this game has a uh, well, you know stupid dialogue as well. So if you make a stupid character, there's dialogue for those. So we might we might try that. Why not? Ow. Now it's only hitting me for that much. What's going on? That's a bit odd. No, wait a second. I I went to the wrong place. I have to go to the saviors thing. I think. Right? Yeah, I think it's the saviors terminal where I need to go. Right, a couple more force fields and we're dead, so... My stingi my stinginess does not allow me to use the stim packs, but I'll have to anyway. 
Well, let's go through this one. It'll probably kill us. Ow. Ten. Ow. All right. Time to use the stim packs. Where's, where's our ultra stim packs? There we go. Because with one of these, we can just heal up completely. That's pretty nice. Look at that. Oh, no. 90. Okay. There we go. I thought that they would just, you know, fill your, uh, fill your health up completely, but no. Well, that's not bad. I, I don't feel like I've, you know, sort of wasted a little bit of it. All right, so. Let's do this. So it's security card. Activate self-destruct. Five minutes uh, silent countdown. Yes, self-destruct. All right, silent countdown. Silent self-destruction was activated. Estimated time of explosion in 300 seconds. You gain 10,000 experience points. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. It will explode in 290 seconds. Man, so many, so many elevators we have to go through. 283 seconds. Whoa, what's going on? Um, dude, I don't really have the time for this. Because the timer is still running, even in, um... In turn-based combat, I believe so. Oh, bloody hell, where are they all coming from? Like the aliens, they're coming out of the walls! What does that guy have? 271. But with these, uh, crits everywhere, that's pretty... It's pretty insane. Oh, please, why, why are you not dying? Okay, he's going to pick up something. Or maybe not. 261. 261. Hmm, parapraxis. Alright, go, 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 go. I mean, we have plenty of time, but... You know, just in case. Alright, off we go to the first level, and then to the elevator up the top. Bye, everyone! Oh! What the hell? Is this something new? I don't... Have I left these guys somewhere? I... I can't remember. Well, let's go for the eyes then, if you're on the... On the flow. There you go. Still cannot see this guy. Seven X... Oh. Lovely. No, no, no. Ugh, I wasn't fast enough again. 59 critical. Don't you dare fire again, you stupid bastard. What the hell? It's just infuriating. Yes, I know that force field might kill me. Alright, I guess time to save. But that's ridiculous. 46. Alright, let's get out of here. There's no one waiting for us here, so off we go. And this is the end game, I believe. Or the end of the game. Whoa! It's pretty cool that that's in the, uh, you know, original style. Oh no! Well, unfortunately, I cannot have the, uh, music playing here because they're using licensed music. So I'll just add some of my own music here. Well, we're gonna die as well now, I'm, su I'm assuming. There's the amulet. Well, these are some pretty nice animations. Alright, now the, um... The explosion completely destroyed the rebirth, ba uh, rebirth base and killed many unsuspecting ghouls. The chance for rebirth became just a sad memory for ghouls. Thanks to you, many prisoners of the Rebirth managed to get robes, which they used to escape safely. You didn't know how much time you had left, but it was certainly not much. 
Julian had no reason to stay in the rat hole. When he and his pe people left, the city disappeared. Alexa, who was responsible for Maria's death, was dead, but that did not help ease George's grief in any way. Thanks to the caravan trade, new hope could begin to develop. Yeah, I see the development. But the passing caravans attracted Julian's attention. The village became a lucrative target for him. Bastard. The last caravan that reached New Hope found only a ravaged place full of corpses. I hope I'm not skipping. I won't be clicking anymore. After Rodriguez's death, Father Malcolm lost his protection. He was killed by a desperate addict not long ago. Uh, not long after. Without Malcolm's shop and Rodriguez's casino, the life in Lost Town died down. Wow, so we pretty much destroyed the entire place. All that survived were rumors that raiders were hiding somewhere below. Thanks to a big and successful order, Frederick managed to get his company out of trouble. In time, Frederick's dream, capable of accepting bigger orders, became serious competition for Sedit Caravan. Carrie spent most of her time on the road. She made a living as a trader and gunslinger. She had no interest in returning to Sedit, and least of all heading to the Crimson Caravan. Or heading the Crimson Caravan. As the head of the company, Dimitri continued to be more than willing to send caravans through even the most dangerous areas. The company lost several customers and employees because of that, but they pers persevered. There was always someone willing to send goods as fast as possible, no matter the cost, and someone willing to risk it. Oh. After Sebastian's death, the remaining hunter commanders fought for leadership. Most hunters died in the infighting. With the help of the Imperial Army, Aaron forced the rest of them to leave. Albuquerque became a thriving metropolis. The wall between the Empire and the rest of the city was torn down. Oh. Oh, okay. The original dwellers and the immigrants learned to live together. The differences between them gradually disappeared. The surviving mutant hunters eventually formed into an ordinary raiding band, attacking caravans around Albuquerque. When the hospital was destroyed, the rich immigrants and visitors of Albuquerque lost the opportunity for unique medical aid. On the other hand, the poor stopped disappearing in the streets and around the city. Good. Nobody openly threatened the tribals anymore. The tribe could grow safely. Now, oh. the growing number of tribals in the city caused some tension between them and the more civilized inhabitants. Without Vex's interference, William's business flourished, which benefited the whole of the suburbs. I don't really remember any of these. However, it did not bring him much happiness. Doreen died in a few years and Penny ran away from him shortly after. Alone without his women, William lost his zest for life. He shut himself in his house and doesn't meet with anyone. By killing the super mutants that camped in the hunter base, you managed to cut short their journey east. Most super mutants that ever appeared in New Mexico met a similar fate. Whatever their intent, people killed them on sight. Oh. And there we go. And we are done with um, Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. Wow. Well, I'm really hoping uh, you've enjoyed this. Uh, thank you so much for, to all my patrons, especially. Um, you guys and gals are really helping. And of course, thank you for watching my uh, Let's Play. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, check out my Patreon, check out my other Let's Plays. And I will see you next time. And of course, I think we have something else to check on the bottom left of the map. Alright, so we are on our way to the lower left part of the map, where apparently there is something I should see. Something secret. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm addicted to Psycho now, but that's not a huge deal. Um, there's nothing here. 
Yeah, there's... Yeah. There's nothing here. Oh, we're not addicted to it anymore. Interesting. There's nothing in the lower le left. Was it the lower right, maybe? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, 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 what's this? It's not in the bottom left part of the map. But it is in the left part of the map. What is this? Let's wait for daytime. I was also caught by some super mutants traveling east, but I've escaped. The inconspicuous building before you suggests the presence of an underground complex. However, the entrance is blocked. Around you there are human remains and several destroyed defense towers. There must have been a fight here at some point in the past. Wait a second. Isn't... Oh no, that cannot be Navarro. I really like the music. Oh, there's a rope, which I'm assuming... Oh, no, do we need... Oh, no, we need some more explosives, I'm assuming, for this. And probably nowhere to find a ventilation cover. Can we go in through there? With the rope. The ventilation cover is sealed from underneath. Not even strong explosives could move it. Brilliant. So, we do need explosives for this. That's quite interesting. What is this place? Well, I don't have any more explosives, see? Because I never bought two of them. You see the remains of man. What a bizarre place. Let's get some explosives. Wow, look. There is even a map of a place. That's pretty cool. Alright. Well, I got some explosives. I bought uh, a couple just in case. Let's drop it, and hopefully this will do it. And hopefully I don't need more than one rope, because that would be pretty bad. Come on. Yes! Nice! The explosion has dispersed the cave-in. What is this place? Whoop. Oh, I like that sound effect. Oh, they're gonna be... What the hell? What? What happened? Oh, that was close. Oh, a section of the ceiling by the elevators caved in. You barely had time to jump aside to avoid it. You're trapped here. Oh, it's a... Wait a second. This almost looks like that, uh... The glow. But I'm not sure what it is. Let's take this. You know what? If there's radiation here... I will just take some precautionary Rad X. 50 radiation resistance. Alright. I really like the music. I don't know why. Oh, there's a Geiger counter. Yeah, this definitely. Plasma Transformer, right? This definitely looks like the glow. This is a three-step Plasma Transformer from the first Fallout, but... Ooh, there's a ladder upstairs, and there's something here, and I'm assuming this is unpowered, so I cannot open it. Secure it tightly in place. Yeah, that's probably where you get out. This still works, sort of. The computer doesn't respond. It's damaged. Okay. Let's try to repair these generators, get some power up. You looked inside the generator and realized you haven't the slightest idea how to repair it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try a few times, see if it actually works. I doubt it. Nope. Let's try science on this. The computer doesn't respond. Hmm. Uh, well, we need another another bloody uh, rope there. Secure tightly in place. The activated robot. You know, these doors always sort of reminded me of some kind of a monster bashing through it. I mean, look at this. It was probably an explosive, I know, but uh, it looks pretty amazing. Cookie! 
A chocolate frosted biscuit with a single bite mark. Hard as stone, absolutely indigestible. Why is it? It's not chocolate covered. It doesn't look chocolate covered. Wow, a battered tape. Look at that. Oh no, I thought it looked battered. No, it looks the same as these. An H beaten holodisc. It has been damaged so much that only a part of the data is readable. Downloading disk data. Wow. You know what? We're gonna have to continue this next time. It's not over yet! I'll see you then. Bye-bye.